Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital truth and right now I'm going to give you some boundaries on how to express or voice your truths in a safe way so that it doesn't create a war around the world, okay? Because you might be aware of that. Sometimes you might say something that can hurt people's feelings or it can hurt relationships in ways that are not very constructive. So the default idea is to share more your truth. But right now I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, a boundary there so that you understand that in certain circumstances it's not appropriate to share your truth. For instance, you are a salesperson, right? And you're trying to sell something to this client. And that client is really smelly and dirty. <laughs> you look at them and you go like, you really stink right now, right? You're not going to share that truth. It would hurt the client-customer relationship that you have right now. So, is it a truth that you are going to share? You know, you might laugh a little bit internally, but you're not going to share that. Um, another situation, suppose that you are in diplomatic talks, this is a serious topic, between, you know, Palestinians and Israelis, right? And there is this huge tension in the air. I mean, you are going to bring in diplomatic, feel-good, uh, emotions there rather than triggering, you know, anger and uh, frustration in the conversation. So suppose that you are the mediator, or the, you are the one who is facilitating these peace talks. Of course, you're not just going to go like, you know what, you guys are stupid. Why don't you get together? And, you know, it's like, of course, you're not going to voice things that would be obstructing or hurting the negotiation process. You know, here is another example. For instance, you are about to, uh, to get married. That's it. You are on the aisle there to, uh, to, to meet your future husband or your future wife. And right there you have a little doubt, a, a hint of doubt, nothing coming into your mind. You say, oh my God, I'm getting married. This is it for the rest of my life. And then you have all this audience and everybody's there. So that little doubt, are you going to listen to it? Are you going to give it lots of importance? And do you need to go through an hour processing there in front of everybody? Of course, it's not appropriate. So you're going to take that little doubt and say, ah, it's a little doubt passing by. It's normal. It's just a little emotion coming to the surface. I don't have to voice it. I don't have to express it. I can keep it internally and then digest it in my own way because I know that it's the right thing for me to get married. I don't have to voice that doubt. You know, here's another example. You're climbing the Everest, right? With a, with a team, with five of your friends. And then you are there on the rocks and then suddenly you think about something that your wife did to you like five years ago that you didn't like. It comes into your mind. It appears in your mind. Are you going to stop your team and say, you know what, can I share something with you? Is there, you are in the cliffs, it's snowing, it's really dangerous. Are you going to just to stop and share your truth there? No, it's not the right timing. <laughs> what? Hey, my wife, what? What are you talking about? Let, we, we've got a job to do, man. We've got to climb the Everest. So, no, the right timing uh, is important, an important aspect to, to, to check in as well. Uh, here is something else. Um, how much emotional punch you have in, in what you're sharing? You know, sometimes if you remove the emotional load or the emotional charge out of what you're sharing, it's going to have a better impact. So, you know, when you said that yesterday, it made me feel really angry. Or you can say, don't you dare do that ever again to me again. You know, I feel so tired right now, I want to punch. You know, it's like manage your emotions and try to find ways of communicating that are going to be giving your partner the permission or the space to receive what you have to say. Okay? Because the goal is to create connection. It's not to disconnect. So if your energetic or emotional intensity is too high, they're going to go, whoa, 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 this is, this is dangerous realm. You're becoming really abusive right now. Okay? Another example is not sharing important truths when you are driving, you know. It's like driving in the car. It's a typical place where you don't want to be processing because you have to be focused on the road and uh, not be distracted by something that your partner might be saying. So if you have a truth to share with your partner and that partner is driving a car, don't share it at that moment because it's bad timing. It's bad timing as well when they are about to leave and they don't have time to be receptive to what you have to say. Even if that truth might be important, sometimes it's good to wait for the right moment to share it. So you see, um, respect, 
using diplomacy sometimes, uh, cleaning your emotions or clearing your emotions before you share, uh, removing the uh, emotional charge. Um, yeah, the timing is an important one, but there is a whole lot of, you know, subtle or soft boundaries that you can, uh, you can uh, check so that you don't voice them, you know, in, uh, so that you don't voice your truth in ways that cannot be received. You know, think about being, for instance, in a, in a very bad neighborhood somewhere in LA and you arrive there and there is this gang <laughs> members, you're not going to, to, uh, to walk to them and go like, you know what guys, you look like idiots. You know, you're not going to do that because it's freaking dangerous to do that. <laughs> so you're going to be keeping your truth internally and you say they look a bit stupid with their outfit, you know, and stuff. But you're going to move away and not share your truth and then maybe you might share that truth with somebody else. But yeah, stay safe while you share and uh, think about that timing, think about diplomacy, think about is it appropriate, did they give you the permission to share or not? And uh, yeah, that's it for the boundaries. I'll see you soon.